The best three and a half thousand dollar RC car you'll ever buy? You must be joking, Rich. Well, guys, I've been down at JJ Customs and just wait until you see what I found sitting on the top shelf that's new in, because when I get this down, it is gonna blow you away. Well, this car is the MCD XS5 electric conversion converted by Poseidon Motors, no less. Now, I'm gonna pan around the outside of this thing. You wait until you see the inside of the car because it took my breath away. You will not believe some of the features and the power plant and the batteries that are set to power this thing. If I had three and a half thousand dollars spare, I would have handed it over today and bought this thing. I have never wanted an RC car as much as this one. Wait until you see under the skin. I mean, the body of the thing is absolutely gorgeous. Body clips, we have got 10 of them in total. Two at the back, two at the front, two on either side. Goodness me, Rich. Another two at the front for a total of 10. So it's not going anywhere in a hurry at high speed. Well, that rear wing is very firm, very rigid, and designed for some serious downforce. And you will see why as I'm just about to take the lid off the car. And if you like what you see today, guys, then please do give this video the thumbs up and by all means share with friends because they may well, like most of us, have never seen an RC car like this. Three and a half thousand dollars, is it worth it? I would suggest it is worth every single penny. Just remember, guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Check out those tires as they give a hint as to what this car's about. First thing that catches your eye, you'd think, is the 800 kV motor the size of a Coke can. So, what's the big deal? We've all seen big motors, Rich. And that steering servo, just check that out. Dual control arms on the thing. And the ASC, there's also something rather special about it. Now, going back to that motor, it is a 14S capable motor attached to the car guys that means the SC power in it is also 14 S capable so this takes twin 7 S packs one either side but has anybody seen the party piece yet staring you right in the face twin disc brakes on this car this is a conversion from a gas car twin disc brakes now I'm guessing they are needed because as I say this car takes 14S, that's two 7S packs. Do you even know where to go out and buy one 7S pack? That's a speciality requirement on its own, but I'm sure down here at JJ Customs, they can sort you out should you wish to purchase this car. Now, do you want to hear what a Mod 1.5 gear sounds like? Clark's gonna give us a demonstration. I'm thinking that's bigger than Mod. This thing I think that might about. be bigger than Mod 1. <laughs> What about the gear it is? That's bigger than Mod 1, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big ass. Man, look at that pinning gear. Now, as I mentioned, that gear is actually Mod 1.5. So take a close look at that pinion gear, which is larger than the spur gear, even on most large scale RC cars. Absolutely amazing. A closer look at the ESC shows those twin fans, one on either side of it to keep the heat down. Well, whilst that motor may be powered by that rather large ESC, just check out those connectors, guys and girls. 8mm bullets fitted to everything all around the car. Anyway, quick pan around some of the mechanicals of the car. At the back there, we have got, when I say serious size impact bumper, that thing has got virtually no flex in it at all. When Clark lifted the car up, he was able to balance it just on that back bumper alone. There were huge leads on there. I was thinking they were eight millimeters, but they look even bigger than that. We've got metal just about every way you can see in the car. No real signs of any plastic in any major components other than little guards on the side and our waterproof receiver box tucked away under the ESC. Apologies if I keep having a hop round with the camera, but the car is just so mammoth, it is untrue. We've got to check out the size of that spur gear. And we've got our disc brakes tucked away in there. It's like twin disc brakes. Got to buy that server, guys. I'm just cannot get over it. Twin disc brakes. And there is our pin gear. And check out what the size of the spur gear that must be fitted tucked away beyond that disc brake under the cover. To put the size of this car in perspective, that motor can is about the size of a Coke can, which gives you some idea of just how big that pinion gear is. Anyway, that's the kind of quality and size three and a half thousand dollars buys you. A 
as you would expect for this price. Fully adjustable suspension, all round, four wheel drive to put that power down. And I'm not going to be doing a suspension test on this one due to the weight. But I'm able to tip it over and let's have a look at the underside. Very hard to get into words the scope of this car. I've never seen anything like it. I think very few people out there will. The ESC with the twin fans and the twin disc brakes, everywhere you look, has got mind blowing features. Uh, the steering linkage, it's got the dual links on there. I'm guessing fairly obviously in case one breaks, because you would not want this car going out of control at the pace it is going to be going at for sure. It is just dripping in detail. Everything you can think of is fully adjustable and then some. Clearly a lot of thought has gone into the design of this car. And taking another look at those tires, that tire tread pattern looks like it's gonna give absolutely awesome grip, which you would expect. Anyway, let's have a quick look underneath the car. If it don't manage to knock the rack or anything else over. It's so just balancing it on that because that bum rear bumper is so firm. Just check out those Rip lower A arms on the front there. Metal chassis, obviously, I'm guessing that's anywhere between five and seven mil thick uh, aluminum, absolutely solid. I think good five mil on there at least. Now moving on down, a couple of neat features underneath the chassis. One right at the bottom here, you've got the rear aero diffuser, but if you look at the sides there, you've also got aero diffusers built in the side. But what is that slot for there, guys? Let's go and have a look. Putting the car back down. That is for getting airflow through over the motor. Very neat little feature indeed. Uh, so it does make you wonder how much this generates in terms of heat. But then with the 14S pushing this thing along through that ASC and that motor, it's going to be thumping heat out from somewhere for sure. But let me know your thoughts, boys and girls, because this is just awesome. It puts all these other one fifth scale cars into the shade. Well, I think the MCD XS5 by Poseidon is probably as close to an RC hypercar as you can get. Anyway, a thumbs up if you like this one, guys, and share if you love it, because I absolutely love showing this one to you. Now, if you're interested in this car, seriously, do contact JJ Customs down in San Jose, ideally get down there, see this thing in person. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.